What's up YouTube, Christo here, and I've got a video for you, very unexpected. Um, I ended up just getting in this, this in the mail today. Um, it's kind of a big buy for me for a few reasons, but um, before I get into that, I got to give a massive shout out to Mr. Oz, Oswald um, from Facebook, who hooked me up with this, who I then went on to find out. Not only is he in the YouTube community, but he's an up and coming reviewer. So I thought that was really cool. He didn't even mention it to me while we were uh, talking about the fragrance and, you know, going about our transaction, just kind of chatting and stuff, um, which I like. It's quite modest. Um, so yeah, uh, check out his channel. I'm going to link him below. I'm going to put up an annotation for him. Uh, so go show him some support. Uh, thank you so much again um, for giving me the great price helping ship to Canada and getting something that um, I was really, uh, you know, looking forward to. Now, the reason this fragrance is kind of important for my channel, I did a video about two years ago. It was a rant. Um, basically, this is a collaboration between the pop artist Pharrell Williams and the avant-garde niche perfume house Comme des Garçons. I am a huge, 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 huge fan of Comme des Garçons. I've kind of become known as the Fragcom's Comme des Garçons fanboy. And um, basically in my video, I was just talking about what a weird choice it was for Comme des Garçons to collaborate with such a mainstream pop artist. And I was a bit disappointed. I wasn't really looking forward to the fragrance, but I was optimistic and I'm always optimistic. Um, if I kind of look at something before I try it and I, decide it's probably not my thing and then I end up trying it and enjoying it I'm happy because I find a fragrance I like that I wasn't expecting to uh, definitely my my video had a bit of controversy there are some rabid Farrell fans that weren't too happy with me uh, not being excited about the fragrance and kind of dissing some of his really bad rhymes in uh, the happy music video or the happy song that was just like the biggest thing in the world at the time. Uh, funnily enough, uh, Happy Faro Williams and the album Girl and the Fragrance Girl are pretty much forgotten about. He's, you know, hasn't been mentioned for a year and a half, um, which is what pop music is and why I'm just really not into it. It's really manufactured and produced and just easily replaceable. Someone's big for one minute and then just forgotten about uh, the next minute. Um, but music is a whole other topic, I suppose. So uh, I have to admit, I have actually tried this before. They did have it at a few Sephora's um, in the area around where I live in Canada. I didn't properly get to try it until today or earlier today. I've had this for a couple hours now. Um, and I have to say, it's nicer than I thought. Um, it's not amazing, but it's definitely not horrible. Uh, this gets really panned online. It gets a lot of negative reviews, a lot of hate. And it's kind of weird. I can't really figure out if it's Farrah Williams fans that thought it would be something like really happy and poppy and, you know, mainstream like his music. Or if it's Comme des Garçons fans who were expecting something kind of weird, outrageous and strange and bizarre like Comme des Garçons is. Um... Either way, though, um, I, I got to look at it open-mindedly, and I have to say it's really not bad. It's really fresh, powdery, um, a bit sweet, kind of clean, soapy, bit of earthiness in the dry down. Um, there's a lot of violet in here, um, cedar, sandalwood for sure, a bit of pepper in the opening. Uh, I like it. It reminds me of a couple things, so it's not amazingly original. Um, it reminds me a bit, just a bit. Um, of Creed's Himalaya in the sense that it's kind of like a cool white color. Um, you know, when I visual it, I visualize it as being white, kind of cool, fresh, a bit soapy, but it's got this kind of sweet, um, powdery, candied violet that reminds me a little bit of a Tot Libre d'Orange's uh, Poutine de Palaces, which I think it's kind of like if you put Himalaya here and Poutine de Palaces here, this might be an interesting meeting point in the middle. I wouldn't compare this in any way close to the quality of Himalaya, but um, I still think it is good. And I would say Himalaya would be my favorite of these three. 
Um, just kind of a reference point, basically. Um, it's not identical, of course, but it does remind me of that in a way. Now, something that's really cool about this, even though the fragrance isn't blowing my mind, and it's definitely not going to be my favorite of all time, this is kind of like a quadruple collectible. Um, not only is it a Comme des Garçons fragrance, which have a huge, rabid uh, following, myself included, um, it's also a crossover that Comme des Garçons actually do quite a lot. Um, Hussein Shalayan, Monocle, Stephen Jones, just three examples that I really love right here. Um, working, obviously, with Pharrell Williams, uh, you know, pop star, um, former hip-hopper, um, not quite what he used to be in that sense. He's definitely quite mainstream and poppy now. But um, it's also actually, uh, some people might not realize, a collaboration or um, partially a collaboration with street artist Cause. Um, he's a New York City street artist, uh, graffitier. Um, his style, as you can tell from the bottle, if you're familiar with it, it's very cartoonish, kind of space age, science fiction, fantasy kind of stuff. Um, with the crossed out, the X's, which he's kind of famous for as well, supposedly. Um, I'm into pop art, as you can probably tell, but um, it's just not really my thing. Street art doesn't really do it for me, to be honest. Um, but it's also uh, discontinued. So it's like this really rare mixture. Comme de Garçon, Pharrell Williams, Cause, discontinued. So it's kind of like this perfect storm. Um, and it is discontinued almost certainly. It's no longer available uh, on the Sephora website. It is no longer available on the Macy's website. It says it's no longer in stock. Um, and it's no longer available on the Dover Street Market Comme de Garçon online shop. Um, it says the page no longer exists. Um, luckily, though, if you are still interested in this, it is pretty easy to find in the gray market. Um, I was very easily able to find it for like 50 Canadian dollars or less um, just on a few of the American gray market sites. I even saw some people a while ago, uh, maybe four or five months ago, talking about picking this up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls in the United States for like 20 or $30, which is amazing for a 100 mil EDP. I should mention actually, this is a special gift set that came with an extra 10 mil atomizer that I've already handed over to my wife. There's no way I'm gonna use that much of it. So yeah, this is actually, again, even more limited than, um, but yeah, I'm quite sure this is discontinued. So if you're into, if you're into Comme de Garçon, Farrell, uh, Cause, Check this out really soon. I'm not saying blind buy it, but look into it because I have a feeling soon enough this is going to be very hard to find, um, especially Comme des Garçons fans. They are uh, huge into the older, hard to find, discontinued stuff. Uh, Cause as well, um, he does have a really big cult following um, and a lot of his stuff sells for very high prices. So might be a good time to check this out if you haven't yet, um, while it's actually still available for a decent price. Quickly, another big shout out to Oswald. Not only did he give me this for an amazing price and ship to Canada, which is, you know, well beyond uh, the call of duty. Um, he also threw in some samples here that I have not tried any of. Um, two from Rasasi, which I have heard of that house. I've literally never tried a thing from them just because they're so hard to find here. I um, mean, also something just simply labeled Oud Afghano AR, which um, I don't know who makes it or what it is, but Oud Afghano definitely has my attention there. So I've got lots of time to, uh, or I'm going to need lots of time to uh, soak these in here. Really great. Um, great example of the Fragcom. Um, you know, things are kind of changing and different and people are getting more individual and clicky and stuff, but it's a, you know, a really nice gesture and I truly appreciate it. So, um, you know, go over, check out Oswald, Mr. Oz, check out his channel. Um, I'm going to link this up so you can see my video. Um, a bit controversial, but uh, it's kind of died down now, obviously. Um, so thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you again soon.